I had nothing to do with the balancing. <laughs> I want to I want to absolve myself of that responsibility. I uh, and you know what? Uh, <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't have anything to do with the balancing. It looked like a tremendous pain in the ass to balance this game, because we didn't know really what we were going for yet. Like we we had to learn about obsoleting weapons and how to balance a game that had upgradable weapons in it, and it was it was not a trivial experience. Certainly not something you would foist on the junior designer who apparently I mean, just looking at this, was doing incredibly shitty work. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you wanted to make him a tester again? I don't know. You know what I'm going to say my final call on this level was? I'm pretty sure this was a tag team job for me and Peter. That's what I'm going to say. That's, that's gonna, did this level. That's your final answer? That's my final call. Peter did all the stuff that was good, and then I added some bugs. And that's <laughs> how we got the job done. Oh, man. Oh, I remember this, too. Levitator. God, I do. Wow, as we're getting here, I'm starting to remember more and more. This is really weird. This is really, really weird to, to watch. That you're having the deja vu? Yeah. Because I don't remember this level at all, but as you're going through, like, it's coming back. I'm having the same experience, but from a player perspective. I don't remember playing this level, but as I'm seeing bits of it, I'm like, oh, I kind of remember that. I thought those monitors were going to break. That makes me sad. Are you I kidding me? I remember those electricity effects. I don't think I did those electricity effects, but I remember them. I remember having to do some work with them. So bizarre. This is going to be a weird episode, I think, to watch back. This is a way more fun gadget than the uh, glider, by the way. Yeah, and it's, sure. it's And it's basically the same thing, which is kind of weird that we had both. Well, we give you a little bit more control as to how you can thrust and move yourself through the environment. It's yeah, I mean, the, the, glider. the glider is just kind of a shitty version of the th of this thing. <laughs> Clank, I hope this gets through to you. I'm transmitting from the thugs for last fleet. Oh, Angela's all incognito. You know what's funny, though, is we're going to get back to Boldon just in time for the museum to open. Wow, nice. Very good. Yeah. So that's going to be pretty cool. Our our, pl our plan worked, despite itself. Also, I think there's a, a grind rail segment we didn't do there. Yeah, I'm not sure how quickly we can get through the grind rail segment, but we can try. We can certainly unlock the museum. I don't know if, if it'll be available to fly to. Yeah, I don't remember how that works. Because I remember the museum also was a reward for getting all the skill points. Yes. Yeah, so maybe if you just go there once, then it becomes unlocked. Uh, maybe. That I, sounds we, right. We can always find out. Although, now that you're saying that, I kind of remember putting in code to make that not happen. Because I think the reward for, uh, for getting all the skill points was that it permanently unlocked that level. All right, well, this level's done. That was quick. Nice, quick level. Yeah. Uh, you know, pretty pretty good, too. I had fun most of the time. <laughs> I mean, except the parts that you remembered. Okay, this is Ration Clank going commando developer commentary. Second part of the Silver City Bull Dan. I'm Tony Garcia. And I am Mike Stout. That's right. And so we just came back from probably the weirdest level that we're going to be doing on the developer commentary. Oh, man, so weird. Um, and on to the grind rail segment in the Silver City of Planet Boldan. And uh, this is probably my favorite grind rail segment in the game. And I'm not saying that because I worked on it. I actually just think it's a very good grind rail segment. Is this your favorite grind rail segment ever? Because you, you alluded to that in another episode. Uh, sure, let's say yes. Let's say it is my favorite grind rail segment ever. <laughs> Because I was thinking of one in Ratchet 3, and you said it wasn't that one. You said it was the one in the city. So you're probably talking about this one. 
I really like it. It's uh, it's you're really flying through here. It's a great sense of speed, and it's got these nice little moments like this where you just get to appreciate the art for a little while. Yeah, uh, I'm a fan. Those lightning effects are maybe a little bit hard to read. That might oh. not be the best ever. <laughs> well, what the way you're supposed to know is the uh, the transformer flashes yeah. with lightning, and then it comes out on the on the rail. But, but and it all, you're the going ones, so fast. Yeah, yeah, totally. I remember uh, I remember Colin prototyping this level. He actually did uh, designer art to make it look like a construction site and a city and stuff because he really wanted to get the idea across of how you were grinding, of just sort of mixing the grind, the grind rail in with the environment art in a way that had never been done before. So he right. was kind of he was kind of reinventing grind rails for this section, which was, you know, it's pretty cool. Go Colin. All right, I'm not going to fail this time. Well done. So, uh, in terms of things that I stole, I'm going to go right back to pointing out more, more of my non-talent and things that I took from other games. Uh, the lightning effect on the transformer was actually stolen from. There was an outdoor lightning level in Ratchet and Clank One where there was a lot of lightning effects. Uh huh. Uh, and Roberto did a bunch of lightning effects in there. Stole some stuff from Ratchet and Clank One. Uh, put it in that level. That's where the transformer effect comes from. So if you go back and play Ratchet and Clank 1 and go to the lightning level, you might be able to see and compare and see that I changed nothing. So that's pretty good. Let's see. Let's get the mini rocket tube upgrade. Lock on for that this doesn't seem great. Oh, shock though seems amazing for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, acid on the mini nuke sounds cool um, what do you think acid for lava gun uh, well you're, once the lava gun upgrades you're never going to use it again that's true so, uh, I say save them Let's get, when we get more weapons we'll buy more mods alright so is that all you get is, is uh, ability to buy bender. some yeah another mod vendor basically but uh, there has to be something else here. Bolts, lots of bolts. Uh, and then if you ask some of our more unscrupulous players, you need to play that grind rail segment to get to the Insomniac Museum. But that's not true, because we're going to go see the Insomniac Museum the right way, <laughs> right now. The way that the developers intended. What happened with the museum was we, we put it in as a complete uh, separate thing, but... Uh, they, I, I remember they had a press event. You might want to head over there now. We got a minute. Got one That's minute. Uh, they had a press event. I think it, it's open for the whole hour, though. No, it's open for a minute. Is it? Okay. Yep. Well, the, uh, the they had a press event where uh, the they showed the the teleporter or the Insomniac Museum to the press, and they liked it so much that uh, we actually got some some budgeted resources to make it look good and and just do more things in it. Did you have to start it when the level? No. It, once it turns to two, it should it should become active, it, unless I really did this badly. So we're about to see if I did it horribly or if I did it correctly. Uh, what time do you have? Uh, it says two for me, but I don't know what your PlayStation time thinks it is. Okay, it looks like it's coming up on exactly two. Uh, yeah, see, that's the great part of the clock up there. And that's the thing. The clock isn't going to be exactly right, but... Two. You might, have to be, you might have to be off the pad when it comes, but I think you can be in the level. Nope. Ah! Any other ideas? Maybe reload the level, but I don't think that's it. Alright, let me... Uh... Let me try re re reloading the level. Uh, do you think Just that'll blast. do it, or do I have to fly to no, it? No, that's fine. You should be fine. Just blast over there. I think it was 2 a.m. anyway. I if think we you're to, right. If we, we were... have to look up game facts for our own sheet, that would be sad. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll just have to like put in a little uh, oops at this part. Oh, man. Uh... Or it's just broken because we're playing it on a PlayStation 3.
All right. Um, you know what? Pause. Game facts. That's what I'm doing. Are you? 3 a.m. Damn it. Oh, really? Yeah, 3 a.m. So right. uh, we can just advance the clock. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So let's talk about how this little secret came about. That's probably because a good idea. I think it was kind of funny because I think Colin was just joking around as to, oh, wouldn't it be hilarious if we put in some stupid secret that only unlocked at 3 o'clock in the morning? Right, because, because you were we have an insomniac. There. Right, and because we have the clock there, why not put some stupid time-based secret that nobody will ever see? Uh, and that turned into this. Which is probably the most time-intensive joke that we've ever done. <laughs> well, the museum, I think, uh, came about separately from that. But that uh, the 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 your stupid the the stupid joke about where uh, you know to put a, a secret here was uh, sort of what resulted in the museum getting placed in this. Spot. Right. It's chiming. Insomniac Museum. Perfect. Don't die. Because this is the one big... Whoa. This was the big test, right? So not only do you have to be here on time, but you have to go through an enemy segment because we're bastards. Wow, I don't remember the enemy segment. Yeah, it's a brutal enemy segment too because you just oh. died. So oh. maybe, you can, maybe you can rush back. Yeah, it's me. It's really me. Oh, God. I think you should just try to skip these enemies and just blast through, charge boots and... Oh man, and I don't have any ammo because I used it all up here. Oh, at least they don't respawn. Oh god, they do. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're not. We're not nice to let you into the entire Nexus yet. You have to fight it. You have to fight in here. Oh man, you have to prove that you're the last starfighter and shit. <laughs> this is, I think, at the top of some building too. Uh, it's inside some building in the in the background. Yeah, that got hard. You, you have to fall no into it on in the grind rail section. Oh, there was a bug where you could fall into it. Yeah, that's how most people ended up finding the Insomniac Museum, and some people thought that was the right way, but it's not the right way. This <laughs> is the right way. Oh man, that uh, that was not cool. <laughs> Why would we do that? Because it's a secret in Look, the it's Easter Earth. Egg. It's Earth. And look at that. Look at that guy. Who's that guy? Oh, uh, it's some asshole. Uh, that's me. Right there. Uh, oh, man. So do we want to reintroduce the museum? Uh, yeah, let's do a save file so we can always come back here if we want to redo this episode or something. Just save, put a file that we can always come to. We're good. Okay. Oh look, the save game file was from when it was a block level. Oh. 